Today we're checking out two new motor upgrades available from PN Racing for the Traxxas TRX4M. And while these motors will work in any TRX4M, we're going to put these in our brand new high trails. We've got a 90 turn high torque motor and a 63 turn high speed motor. Now these motors are optimized for different gear sets, one for the low speed and one for the stock gears. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to throw them in one high trail with each of those gear sets in it. And we're going to see how these motors do. So let's jump in and check these out. Here's our two motors. Let's check these things out. We'll open them up. I'm going to lose the pinion gear there. So this is the 63 turn high speed motor. So you got it stamped right on this really nice kind of dark stainless case. Very cool looking. Here we have the 90 turn high torque motor. Both of these are 180 size. They're going to be a direct replacement for the stock Traxxas motor, the 87 180 size Titan motor that's in it. But these are designed to be much smoother and more efficient. They've taken a lot of steps to increase the cooling ability. There's a new end bell design on here as well as the cooling vents on the top and bottom. These have upgradable and replaceable brushes and brush holder and will ideally provide smoother action and less choppy driving feel compared to the stock motors. I like the look and feel of these motors a lot. I also like that it's got the kind of two pronged motor connectors. So if you put portal axles on here and you need to reverse your wires, you can easily do so. While it doesn't say on the website, about these being waterproof or not, just looking at the design, I've got to think that they are not. So I'd be cautious with using these in wet conditions if you plan on taking your rig in the water with these motors in there. So the 63 turn, the high speed motor, is designed to work with the crawler gears, the low range gear set. That's what I have in my blue one here. 90 turn high torque motor is designed to work with the stock gears, which is what my son has in his red truck. So we're going to put that in his. So why don't we get some baseline readings with the trucks as they are. I already have the low range gear set in here. So I'm going to put the stock motor in here. I have an Enduro motor in here right now. I'm going to put the stock motor in this. We'll do some speed and acceleration tests with them with the stock motors. And then we'll do the swaps and do the tests all over again and see how they do. And we'll also hit the crawler course with them and see how they perform there. So let's jump in and get some baseline runs. Let's do some benchmark tests. Here we are with the stock motor and stock gears. We're going to see how this goes. I'm going to put the accelerometer in this and get some measurements. So let's do some speed runs first. Now let's see how this thing crawls. Just a real quick demonstration. I mean, you can see the engagement it takes a little while for it to go with the stock gears and the stock motor. And you get that hesitation and it's jerky in its stock form. When it goes, it just kind of lurches. It makes it difficult to do any type of real technical crawling. It just kind of jumps. I got my test pilot over here, my little buddy, in his red high trail. So we're gonna do this crawl and run first, buddy, and then I'm gonna change the motor, and then you're gonna tell me how much better it is. Okay, so, so that, so with first speed, it's just Look at not that bad. That's really good. I know, I think it would do even better with the new motor. You think so? See how jumpy it is? That's what we're gonna try to fix. Okay. Good save. Oh, I know. I thought it was good tip. Okay, just got the high torque motor installed on the red high trail. Now we're going to do our speed test and then we'll hit the crawler course. So let's go check it out, see how this does. Looks pretty awesome in there. I like the cooling vents and everything on it. It's a nice looking motor. Okay, here we are. We're going to do our speed test with the upgraded motor. Got my little buddy over there ready to pilot it. Ready to go, big guy? Yeah! Three, two, one, hit it. All right, let's see how this thing does. Feels pretty similar to the stock motor, I think. It does feel like it engages earlier. Like they've got a more predictable power. 
the end situation. I'll, there's not that big of a dead spot in the beginning of the throttle curve, so it makes it easier to drive with the stock gears, I think. I think I'm better at speed. <laughs> you are better at speed. I like I to go. Think I should get driving it. Okay, let me do one more little bit here, then you can have it. Okay. You're not a good. You're not good at driving that is me, Daddy. Uh, nope. You're the speed guy. I'm the crawler guy, right? I'm the. I do both, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I do both. I am the speed guy and crawler guy. I do both. All right, I'm gonna hand it back over to the little man. I like it, it's a good motor upgrade, definitely smooths out the power curve, makes it more predictable and easier to drive in technical situations. So easy bolt-in upgrade if you wanted to keep the wheel speed of the stock gears and have a little smoother power band, I think this is a good option. All right, now we got the crawler gears and stock motor in my blue high trail here. Let's do the runs here. Let's do the runs with this one. It's slow, isn't it? <laughs> All right, on the course with the crawler gears and the stock motor. Now, I actually really like this setup. For me, who wants to go slow, this is a great setup. And I feel the stock motor does pretty good. You do end up wanting more wheel speed, or at least I do, because it is just so slow. But it's very linear, very controlled on the bottom. This is, you know, stock motor. Look at that crawl. Let me get in a situation and show the lack of wheel speed. See right here, a little bit more to bump. Still does good, but that's what we're gonna be looking for is to add some wheel speed. go that's where we need it right there is impressive all right let's swap the motors out and see how they do here's the high speed motor in here with the crawler gears let's see that internal components of the motor spinning in there that's pretty cool through the cooling vents okay high speed motor and crawler gears here we go anecdotally it looks a lot faster Still got that nice slow crawl. I feel like it hits a little harder than the stock motor did, which is gonna make sense. So I might have given up a little bit of that smoothness on the bottom, but this is still very smooth. I'm just nitpicking here. I'm expecting we'll get a good trade-off with the extra wheel speed. Oh. 
Whoa, <laughs> we got plenty of it. A lot more power, that's for sure. It's that good snap to it. Over here on the gatekeeper to the escalator is where we really wanted that extra wheel speed. So I think this is where we'll see a big difference. Try to roll into it and then bump it. Oh yeah, a lot different there. Big time power. Oh, I'm cliffhanging. I put that spare tire carry in the back. It looks cool, but it's definitely throwing off my performance here. Still able to crawl right up and over that though. Oh man, the control. I think we're gonna do it. Can we make it? Yes, man, this truck still impresses me all the time. Axel's demonstrating the high torque motor and the stock gears. <laughs> it didn't work very well. Thanks. Bump it, back it up and there you go. Good save. I can't do it. Hopefully the audio is okay on this, but here I am. Axel's having a blast with his setup, so I'm going to take the high-speed motor with the crawler gears on a quick run through this awesome new spot that we found. The motor feels good. It's got a nice blend of torque, smoothness, and wheel speed. So a really good combination. It's nice and smooth. Still got that wheel speed to get up over stuff like that. I like it. How do you like your new motor setup, buddy? I love it. You love it? Yeah. Two more great motor options for the TRX 4M. While the PN Racing motors didn't put up astronomically high numbers over the stock motors, real world driving impressions would lead you to believe otherwise. These motors give the truck a much smoother, more predictable, more controllable feel. They feel more powerful, they're more responsive, and more linear. So even though the numbers may be very close compared to stock, the way that they deliver power makes a big difference in real world driving. Now these motors are a little bit more money than you're going to pay for some other competitors as far as brush motors go for the TRX 4M, but I do think the engineering, the power delivery, the efforts that they've taken to increase efficiency and cooling ability, plus the option to upgrade and replace the brushes, make these a pretty worthy upgrade. They're tough too. Axel and I really torture tested these things for a while, and they held up great until we did find out firsthand that they are not waterproof when axles gave up the ghost after being submerged in some muddy puddles earlier today. Now while these motors were optimized around different gear sets, you could mix and match those if you wanted different results. You could put the speed motor with the stock gears and you'd have a lot of wheel speed if you wanted something pretty fast. If you wanted something really slow and torquey, you could put the high torque motor with the crawler gears. So it does give you some versatility there. So if you can grab both of them for under 40 bucks, and a couple of gear sets, you could have a lot of fun with your build, just swapping things in and out. 
but overall a great set of motors and I'm glad I got my hands on them. And I'll put the link in the description down below if you want to check these motors out. And let me know in the comments what do you think of these two motors and the performance that they put out. And as always, I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so, and I'll see you in the next video.